who's going to go in which door? Jin looked through the numbered doors. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All, for all eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would be... It would seem we will have to split up. Wait! Lotus t looked terrified. I'm telling you now, there's in, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door 5. Come now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. Ugh. And we're doing so well. A shook his head sadly. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go through door 5. Oh, Santa, not you two. Hey, man, I just bought the shoes. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you've got another think coming. You mean thing? A think. Ugh, localizations. That was the last straw. What the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. Another think coming. <laughs> So, doesn't that mean- doesn't mean I wanted- I wanted to go into door 5. Oh god. There was an awkward silence. Finally, Seven spoke up. Fine. I'll go into door 5. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? There was another long silence. This time, Snake was the one to break it. I'll go. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! If you're going to- if you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door 5. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. A stepped forward. If I join you, the problem solved, correct? 7 is 7 and Snake is 2. And if you add Clover's 4 and my 1, the digital root will be 5. 7 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 equals 14. 1 plus 1, one, one plus 4 equals 5. I can math. Oh, it works perfectly. The, the four of us can go into door 5. Wait. What about the other four? What's their digital root gonna be? Junpei did a quick mental, a quick mental calculation. Lodo, Santa, Jun, and Junpei remained. Their bracelet numbers wait, were 8, 3, 6, and 5. What would their digital root be? 8 plus 3 is 19, a number. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5. Oh, it's doing it. Okay. Let's go to the menu. Let's go to the calculator. Oh. 8, eight 3, 6, 5. Three. That's um, 9, 14, that's 22. Four. That's four. Twenty-two, four. Yeah, four. Yay! I don't need to do math, I have a calculator with me! He repeated what he'd determined. It's four. Add up our bracelet numbers, and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah, huh, that worked out well. Junpei ran over the team assignments in his head one more time. Four people would go into door five. Snakes, uh, seven, snake, clover, and ace. Four people would go into door four. Lotus, Santa, June, and Junpei. Junpei had to ask himself if the teams were what he really wanted. Beyond door five, what was what, was what remained of the ninth man? He never wanted to see that thing again. But something in him said it would be unwise not to examine the corpse even a little closer. Of course, if he went through door 5, he wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. True, it would be possible for him to bring June with him through door 5, but that would mean she would have to see that horrific carnage that waited there. Junpei didn't want that. Junpei was torn. Should he stay silent and go through door 4? Or should he stop them all and insist on door 5? As he turned his options over and over in his mind, A spoke up. Alright then, but since we've reached the conclusion, shall we go? He began to walk towards door 5. Clover and Snake followed, followed with 7 a short distance behind. 
Junpei, which door do you want to go through? Guys, which door do we want to go through? Four or five? If which one is it that? If we have to go through door five, if we want to go through door five, we will have to change everything. If we go through door four, mm. everything will be okay. And if you go, th so if you go through five, it's possible that not everyone will be able to go through. No, it seems that there's a possibility of having everyone, everyone's uh, digital route match to the doors, so all eight of them can go. Okay. But I guess... that means that there's gonna be a different, like a different arrangement of people going. So in mm. this arrangement, you're going with the dancer, silver-haired guy, and your childhood friend. I say stick with four. So that's four votes for four. Okay. So I'm Sounds guessing, like it's four. We're guessing it's four because no one else speaks up. You gotta set up a poll. Well, I can't. There's not enough people to set up a poll, and there's no reason to actually set up a poll, okay? It's easier to just right. ask the chat like this. Decided that door four would be fine. You would go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. Why had June Pei even considered doing otherwise? He would be there for June. For Akane Kudashiki. Uh, Kudashiki. Kudashiki. You need to remember that. That seemed good. Childhood friend romance for the win. That seemed good. He felt it was the right choice to make. He made no shows of affection, but Junpei saw her as something more than just a childhood... Uh, a friend from his childhood. That's so stupid. Better childhood friend. Whatever. He watched the door. The other four walked towards their door. As... Ace, Snake, Clover, and Seven. Junpei said nothing as they left. Before long, they had reached door five. They talked for to one another for a few seconds, saying things Junpei couldn't hear, and then laid their hand one by one in their scanner panel of the red. Ace grabbed the lever. His face tight with determination, he turned over his shoulder to look at Junpei and his companions. Goodbye. Be careful. As Ace pulled the lever, the door swung open, the mouth of a great hungry beast. Beyond the door, Junpei knew lay the sad remains of the ninth man. It did not surprise him that Ace, Clover, Seven, and Seven hesitated. The body was not a pleasant thing. Snake had no such problems as his blind made blindness made him immune to the horror. He stepped through the door, his feet making a wet splat in the pool of blood. Do you intend to kill me? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Snake had not even bothered to turn around, but the other three steeled themselves and stepped through the door. Door 5 swung shut, closing, the heavy, closing with the heavy finality of metal upon metal. Junpei and his companions scrambled, scrambled to the door. They pressed their ears to it an attempt to hear what might be taking place on the other side. It's beeping. It's just like before. The pro the, probably the sound of a detonator and the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? Jin's face showed her concern more plainly than her words ever could. Almost as though in, her, in response to her question, a voice rang out from the other side of the door. It was seven. Hey, there it is. That's gotta be the dead thing. Come on, get over here. We gotta be gotta authenticate. The beeping stopped. The sighs of relief were audible even through the door, the heavy door. Phew. Looks like it stopped. 
Jinpei and his companions leaned away from the door and breathed a collective sigh of relief of their own. Hey guys, are you doing all right over there? They heard Seven's voice, but it, it wouldn't hurt to be sure. Yep, we're fine. Despite the recent danger, Clover's voice was as bubbly as ever. Oh hey, I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color's different. You know the red, how the red was red? Well, the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same, too. Awesome, thanks, that helps a lot. Well, we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Jinping and the others left door 5 and headed towards door 4. They stood in front of the red and placed each of their hands upon it. Four asterisks appeared in the screen. Jinpei grabbed the lever and turned around. You guys ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. None of them looked particularly optimistic, but their faces were set. Jinpei nodded to them and turned back towards the red. Alright, let's go! With strength and determination, he pulled the lever. Run, Santa said. Four of them leapt through the door together. The moment they had the moment they had passed through it, each heard a cold electronic sound coming from their left wrist. In the center of each bracelet, a red skull appeared and began to flash. The detonator's countdown had begun. In the long moment that each of them spent staring at their wrists, the number door behind them closed. The sound of metal and metal reverberating down the hall because I cannot say that word. Reverberating? Reverberating. There was no way back Re now. Okay. They were committed. If they could not find the device to deactivate their detonators... Hey, where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap. Start looking. I already am. They began to run, eyes looking frantically for the device that was the key to their salvation. The hallway they found themselves running down was a long one, easily 300 feet in length. On the right side of it stood... On the right side of it stood a series of identical... Of, of wooden doors, all nearly identical. If they had taken time to think, they would likely have discerned that the doors led to cabins. Don't tell me the dead is what in one of those rooms. Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? Junpei was too frightened to count properly, but at his best guess, there were seven or eight of them. Ah, fuck. There wasn't time to count them, to be sure. Junpei ran to the nearest door. He grabbed the knob and shook it hard. It wouldn't open. It didn't feel locked, more like someone had hammered an iron plate over the other side of the door. Junpei turned around to find another door, and saw that his companion had already run to him to doors of their own. They did not seem to be having any more success than he had. Their own words confirmed his fears. Shit, this this one's no good. Same here. It's not moving. Jun was the last to speak up. As Junpei looked at, in her direction, his eyes caught something he hadn't noticed before. A small red light. It flashed at him dimly from the end of the hallway. That's it! Over there! Even as he yelled, he ran. He grabbed Santa, Lotus, and June and pulled them towards the light. Santa called out to them as he ran. Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How do I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds. I know that, goddammit! I'm asking you how many seconds we have left. In no likelihood, Jinpei figured out. Figured nearly a minute had already passed since the door had closed behind them. If that was true, Urgency foremost in all of their minds, they arrived at the end of the hallway. The dead set on the left wall, blinking almost tauntingly at, at them. Hurry! Jinpei grab, grabbed the hold of the, the machine, his hand, his hand slick with sweat and shaking. He slammed his hand against the scanner panel. The other three quickly followed suit. 
with a grunt, Santa yanked the lever 